homosexuality is a crime not only in Islam, in every divine religion, and is punishable in Islam by death. Don't call me right now, anybody. We're in the middle of genius. Republican members of the Electoral College, this message is for you. Make America great again! They said that wasn't politically correct. Who cares? As you know, our founding fathers built the Electoral College to safeguard the American people from the dangers of a demagogue. Now, having said all this, why aren't I 50 points ahead, you might ask? Ensure that the presidency only goes to someone who is, to an eminent degree, endowed with the requisite qualifications. An eminent degree. Someone who is highly qualified for the job. Bye-bye. The Electoral College was created specifically to prevent an unfit candidate from becoming president. The president can bestow, and uh, that speaks to uh, the closeness of our relationship. As you know, the Constitution gives electors the right to vote for any eligible person. Any eligible person, no matter which party they belong to. But it should certainly be someone you consider especially competent. Especially competent to serve as President of the United States of America. I had a lot of people, and one guy who was seriously obese. He complained when I mentioned that food stamps, we have a lot of people on food stamps. And the guy went crazy. We all have a weight problem. Yeah, you can get them out. Yeah, get them out. Get them the hell out of here. The American people trust that your voice speaks for us all. USA! Service to the American people. The opportunity to go down in the books as an American hero. Shit-twinkle-toed cocksucker down here who just signed his own death warrant. Nobody, huh? The very fucking godmother said, "I'm fucking standing. I will PT you all until you fucking die." What have we got here? A fucking comedian, private joker. I admire your honesty. Hell, I like you. You can come over to my house and fuck my sister. <laughs> We've seen nothing that we can work, that I can work with President Bush on, and I'm disappointed because I thought that there might be some interest because of what he said in the campaign, which turns out to be not true, a hoax, and really dangerous to the economic stability of America's working families.